Okay, so we have this differential equation that we're going to solve. We're going to solve it using Laplace transforms. So there's two Laplace transform identities that I'm going to write down. Um, the first one is the Laplace transform of uc of t times f of t minus c is equal to e to the minus cs times f of s, where big F is the Laplace transform of little f. And the other identity that I want to tell you is the Laplace transform of sine of bt is equal to b divided by s squared plus b squared. So this is a b. I kind of messed that up a little bit. Okay, so of course you should keep in mind that when you are doing, uh, when you are solving differential equations using Laplace transforms, there's not going to be somebody there to tell you which ones to use. Um, I'm just doing that for convenience so I can refer to them later. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the Laplace transform of both sides. Notice the initial conditions are both zero. So what we get on the left hand side is going to be x of s times s squared plus 4. And on the right hand side, the Laplace transform of sine of t is going to be 1 over s squared plus 1. b is equal to 1 in that case. So that's 1 over s squared plus 1. Okay, minus the Laplace transform of this piece, we're going to combine both of these rules. So c is equal to 2 pi. So this is e to the minus 2 pi s times the Laplace transform f of s. So again, this is going to be 1 over s squared plus 1 get is x of s is equal to 1 minus e to the minus 2 pi s divided by s squared plus 1 s squared plus 4 and doing partial fractions decomposition this is equal to 1 minus e to the minus 2 pi s one-third times 1 over s squared plus 1 minus 1 over s squared plus 4. Okay, going from here to here, that's just partial fractions. You do it however you want to. That's just, that's just you doing math. Okay, so I'm going to re rearrange this a little bit or slightly. I'm just going to write it down here. So this is going to be one-third 1 minus e to the minus 2 pi s. Okay, so 1 over s squared plus 1. We don't need to do much to this. We recognize this as the Laplace transform of sine of t. Uh, for this other piece, it's going to be 1 over s squared. 4 is equal to 2 squared. So I'm going to write it like that. I'm going to write 4 is 2 squared. And notice this almost looks like it could be the Laplace transform of maybe sine of 2t. But for that to be the case, we would need to have a 2 in the numerator. So we're going to do what we normally do. We want there to be a 2 right there. So we're going to put a 2 there. Uh, if we put a 2 there, we have to pay the price of multiplying the whole thing by 1 half. Okay, so basically we're just multiplying, or not basically, exactly what we're doing is multiplying and dividing by 2. We're multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2. So now, if I look at the inverse Laplace transform of the part and the bracket, I'll call that h of t. h of t then is equal to sine of t minus 1 half sine of 2t. Okay, and so now if I combine, uh, not combine, but if I use this uh, Laplace transform rule, what it tells me is the following. The Laplace transform of this whole part which is just the solution x of t, x of t is equal to one-third times h of t u 2 pi of t h of t minus 2 pi. And this is just equal to one-third times h of t, so that's one-third times sine of t minus one-half sine of 2t minus u 
2 pi of t sine of t minus 2 pi minus 1 half sine of 2 t minus 2 pi. Okay, and I can clean things up a little bit. So observe that sine of t minus 2 pi, that's just sine of t because uh, sine is 2 pi periodic. And sine of 2 times t minus 2 pi, that's just sine of 2 pi or 2t, two again, because sine is 2 pi periodic. So this is equal to 1 third times 1 minus u2 pi of t times sine of t minus 1 half sine of 2t. Uh, or I can factor out a 1 half and write this as 1 sixth 1 minus u 2 pi of t times 2 sine of t minus sine of 2t. And that is the solution to this initial value problem. And just observe that in every step, the idea is we want to, we want to see how the Laplace transform that we're given is built from kind of the fundamental building blocks of the items or the entries in the Laplace transform table. I told you for this problem that we are going to be using these two identities, uh, but you know, typically in real life, if you were to do a problem like this, you'd kind of have to figure out which lines you needed to use on your own.